Hi subscribers and YouTubers. We're going to put this uh, transmission in the uh, John Deere today. And there it is. I'll show it to you. What you want to do is you want to block up the wheels like that down there. And you want to tie up the steering like that. Lock up the steering. These are some of the tools you need. Safety glasses. You need a wrench. 10 millimeter socket, half inch drive, need another socket here, uh, let's see, hard to read, that's a 13 millimeter pliers, screwdriver, and a half inch box wrench which is down here. We got gloves and a rag and a parts pan here. And you're going to need a wrench, an air, 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 air wrench, preferably. It'll help you speed along the job. See the caps right there? Yellow caps? Those come off the side of the wheels. The side, there's the side of the wheels. And get a shot of this. There's a clip pin there, or U clip. It has to snap off with the screwdriver. You need a jack, a jack stands. To to take the wheels off so you can switch out the new transmission. I'm gonna pull that off. Pull that off. You got a key in here. Pull the wheel off. You see the figure eight clip right there? We're gonna zoom in for you. Right there. That unclips onto the transmission. It's a figure eight and use a pair of pliers. There you go. And then that piece right there, that goes to the transmission. That's the reverse neutral, which you pull out in the back of the machine. And that just has a long, a small little round uh, press clip on there that you slip off the uh, transmission on the linkage on the right side. Okay, I want to show you that we took the uh, spacers off and this spacer here, washer goes up against the axle then this one and also this is on the new trans axle and same on the other side. So there's the old one out okay and we put the uh, jack underneath it to ease it out after we took the bolts off on the sides there. There's two there and there's a bracket support bracket right in through there. I'll show it to you. It's right by that cotter pin. I'm sorry. Kind of new with this this recorder right there. And underneath you have two brackets there. Okay that's for the throttle. Reverse forward. The other one again is the chrome one for the neutral. So there's uh, two connections on that side, one on this and there's a plug on the other side. See the plug right there? That plugs into the um, transaxle with that bracket right there. I'll show it to you. See it right there? That goes on to the tra new transmission. And I highly recommend using an air ratchet for this job. It helps you get through it a lot easier. So, there's the brackets there. There's one there, and there's one on the other side. Okay, that's got to be transferred over to the new transmission. And uh, that goes to the front of mach the, mach the machine. So those brackets are going towards the front, not the rear. That's a bigger one, that's a 5 8 On this you're going to have to use the gun, 13 millimeter. That 
side loosened up. There's a nut on the bottom. sure you get this nice and straight okay so we got the uh, axle in that's your new transaxle well bolted up both sides we've got the wheel right wheel on and I want to show you that key right there there's a key inside the wheel that you have to grease up so you got a washer a spacer another thrust washer the key then the wheel goes on on the outside of the wheel you've got the e-clip and another washer inside of the, on the inside of the e-clip well JD here and for just do the repair we got all that set and done uh, thanks for watching I'm sorry this was a completely detailed video but there's other notes on the internet and other videos you can watch I'm glad you stopped in to watch and uh, it runs pretty good I'll have to say to myself so we're just gonna finish a coffee here and and uh, make it, call it a day. Uh, please rate and subscribe and uh, tune tune into the other playlists. There's a lot of good information on how tos and repairs. Thank you.